Today, I want to talk to you about a sad story in the Bible. It's the story of the vineyard in Isaiah chapter 5. Let me read to you verses 3 and 4 of Isaiah chapter 5. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, please, between me and my vineyard. What more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Why then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Isaiah chapter 5 begins with a story about a vineyard that had many advantages. The vineyard belonged to a loving person. It was planted on a fruitful hill. The ground was carefully prepared. It was planted with good stock. It was protected. Provision was made for the fruit to be processed. With all these advantages, it's not surprising that God, who in the story is presented as the owner of the vineyard, God expected it to bring forth good grapes. Instead, it brought forth wild grapes. Now, Isaiah didn't mean bad grapes. He meant wild grapes. This plant is known as the wolf's bane or the wild vine, and it's said to bear beautiful berries, but they're bitter, bad-smelling, and poisonous. Now, one could never blame a vineyard for its lack of production, but in the Lord's vineyard, the will of man is a factor. So God, through his prophet, asked, what more could have been done to my vineyard? There was nothing left undone by the owner of the vineyard. He did all he could. In the same way, God could not be blamed at all for the bitter, bad-smelling, and poisonous wild grapes that brought forth from Israel. Therefore, the fault lays with man, not God. God can do a work in his people, yet his people receive that work in vain. The Apostle Paul warned, We then, as workers together with him, also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. That's in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 1. As God's vineyard, we are called to work with the grace of God, so that grace is not received in vain. Grace is not given because of any works, past, present, or promised, Yet it is given to encourage our work. God does not want us to receive his grace and become passive. That's why it says here in these verses, Why then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? God's question through the prophet Isaiah comes to us again today. Does this reflect our current condition? Has it been this way with us? Have we rewarded God ungratefully for all that he's done for us? Have we given him hardness of heart instead of repentance? Have we given him unbelief instead of faith? Have we returned indifference instead of love, idleness instead of holy effort, impurity instead of righteousness? The prophet Isaiah speaks to us across the centuries in the story of the vineyard, and he tells us to return good to God, for all the good that he's done to us. We do not do it to earn or to deserve the good. He does it for us. No, we do it in gratitude for the good that we have already received from him. So today, ask God to move upon your heart to give him a good return and do it for his glory. That's something you can do today.